Like it's such a waste. Yeah, it's, it's such a, a waste of resources. Setup, but, you know, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. And like, what you pro controllers? So if you that. can hook your phone, then you should be able to hook like other devices up that capture Bluetooth. Uh huh. So why not just get like a not like a speaker, but uh -huh. you know, like a hub. Yeah. Or like more like a computer. Or yeah. You'd be like, all right, come over here. All right, now sink you can in sink. And call it's good. like the de kind of like your, right. your your switch idea. Yeah. But you would go to like the TO. The desync station. The desync <laughs> station, exactly. Like you have the charging station for your phone, yeah. and right next to it, you have the desync station for your Wii. Right. And as a nice comment player, I'll uh, go ahead and I can sponsor that station. Just be like, <laughs> welcome to the desync station, sponsored by lots of ice climbers. All right, it's uh. Yo, are we gonna see some Ken? Nice. All right, Phil. All right, so we got one team. We got one team with a lot of power and a lot of pop, and then uh, green team. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. 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 Handyman and Dynamite. Three, two, they one, want the K Real team. They got one, right? Um, were they? I can't. Let's, while we research that, let's call the match, and uh, I'll try to get back. Uh, okay. Well, we got a. I like the combination that we have for both teams actually, because we have like a one team or they each have like their heavy stock tank or big damage, and then of course they have like their character that can go in. Ken, of course, being a heavy combo character, right. good a couple up tilts into a down smash. Uh, but I want to see some like aerial conversion into the so weekend. And I'll be interested to see because you know in singles Ken has that you know the snap forward yes. uh, mechanic, but in doubles that doesn't exist. They're funny to get anywhere, right? Right, right, right. Now, I love Ken's because it does carry you up and then, like, vaunches you at the end. So crazy. Good jab. All right, good death kill coming out from Dynamite. Keep it staying off stage. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of already building a little bit of a lead here with, uh, with Saiyan dropping that first stock. Yeah, he stocked it kind of early, especially for like a big heavy like Bowser. Yeah, you want Bowser to be taking those stocks. Exactly. Especially because yeah, the Bowser, especially if they're able to tank stocks, then they can start doing weird things like you know, uh, Koopa Claw trades and things. So they build a stock lead like, uh, like here and now we can start talking about side specials and trying to catch their opponents a little bit. That's true. Which, I mean, I would expect K. Rule to be really going for the, the funny stuff. Especially with both members of Red Team being at these higher percents, you know they're one down throw away. And then up tilt. Yeah, that Barry is always just uh, top of mind when you're playing against uh, a K Real player for sure. Now, interesting that we're not seeing uh, Handyman actually stick to a more projectile based game using the side B, using the cannon, uh, while Dynamite is kind of being the aggressor. Uh -huh. Because Yoshi is going to have those tools to escape with his like super armor yeah. and like his quick attacks. I imagine the intent behind that is, you know, it, it, oh my Ooh. god, as I say, every moment that King uh, K. Roll is throwing out the projectiles and stuff, it kind of takes away some of his super heavy punish options. Like, you saw that forward air taking the, taking the stock, it's looking like the fat Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he definitely puts all his weight behind it. <laughs> and there's no share stock. I'm all, you know, some things it's always been a matter of, uh, a matter of style, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're at really high percent, with two stocks left, do you take it or not? And I'll say they might be more comfortable with uh, uh -huh. Phil being maybe the stronger player between the two of them. Maybe that, that could be it. Uh, we did see Phil doing some pretty cool combos. You know, some fancy can work. But at the same time, uh, personal opinion, I always feel like just having two characters on stage at once is stronger than just having like one character with two shots. You're going to be able to actually like... You know what I mean? You have access to those two combos. You have access to the support in case you are in trouble and yep wow okay that was cool so he did a grounded uh the down throw into the up tilt and yoshi caught the launch with the bear <laughs> but, all right so green team taking that first round i'm not finding them on socal chronicles uh just go to like top eight i did oh yeah i went to top eight already um nothing yeah nothing for dynamite or okay so i was thinking easy yeah Houston. But okay. it's all right. Uh, yeah, I'm always. Di hey. Dynamite's a f uh, familiar name. Like I almost want to say there's a Dynamite from out of state, but I don't know if it's the same, the same person. I mean, regardless, K. Rule in doubles is always so fun to watch <laughs> because he gets away with like things that he he really couldn't in singles. Yeah. Just because there's so much chaos and maybe you lose focus, 
and you don't keep your eye on K. Rule at the correct moment, right. and then you get grabbed and to up smash or beat the crown just like five times in a row. Right. And I've always felt like K. Rule as a character is one of those characters, like in singles at least, it's a, a character. If you're able to put your undivided attention and really focus, despite all of the tools that he has, it's it's, uh, it's possible to really navigate around all those things. Mm -hmm. But you throw in the mix and in the fray of all the other characters on the screen. All those things that were like very possible to navigate around with a lot of focus. You can no longer put that focus on. <laughs> and right. it becomes super powerful. So we're opening up game two. And already Green Team picking up right where they left off and putting in a lot of damage. We do have a character switch from Saiyan though. They're switching from off Bowser into Lucina. Now we've seen Lucina do a lot of work, uh, especially in um, Genesis doubles. Right. I believe there was a couple of Lucina's in it so far. Oh, Kut Saiyan uh, dropping another early stock. This time not being able to just make it back with the recovery. Oh, uh, yes. Starting out a lot of smash attacks. I know. C stick is definitely being pointed at the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, if you're a swordy and you if it's working, you hit all most of them. <laughs> it didn't get hit for it. And we've seen it does have, you know, despite her small frame, so much power. A lot of oh my god, speaking of power, handyman with the off stage there. Yeah, he's bringing down the stock for red team here moving four. And he's not done yet. He just continues to go after Phil. Phil is having so much trouble getting oh, back. The back. <laughs> I thought, yeah, toss him out of here, but the, uh, smart decision using his second jump to stop his momentum, ending up in the blast zone. And already, Green Team trying to advance the line and take stage control. And Red Team had a loss on what to do. Oh, he's traded the stocks. Yeah, Almost all the pulled stocks. it off. <laughs> all the stocks getting lost. Dynamite still hanging on to his three stock as Red Team approaches one apiece. It's not looking good for our heroes here in red. Green, just too much of a force to be reckoned with for them. Okay, now we see Henny Man uh, going to his more projectile heavy uh, game plan. That was good until until the scene is S Mass. It almost looks like I've been noticing some of on the Kent's part. Some some issues like not having that snapback mechanic. Uh -huh. He's been throwing out some moves in the wrong direction after hitting the shield. Like I saw him try to cross up back air, and then he'd immediately down tilt it. Oh, oh no! Be sure you get into spell right into a fully charged F smash. So unfortunate for Red Team. He wanted the auto uh, sure you can the other way. Oh. <laughs> Towards his opponent, maybe I don't know. That's an unfortunate miscue. Like that wasn't even the correct impact.